Hello, welcome to Premium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 35 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll learn about what indexes are, why do we use indexes, and the advantages of using them. So why indexes? Indexes are used by queries to find data from tables quickly. Indexes are usually created on tables and views. Index on a table or a view is very much similar to an index that we find in a book. If you don't have an index in a book and I ask you to locate a specific chapter in that book, you will have to look at every page starting from the first page till the end. On the other hand, let's assume there is an index in that book. In that case, you look up the page number of the chapter within the index and then directly go to that page number to locate that chapter. So obviously, the book index is helping to drastically reduce the time it takes to find the chapter. In a similar fashion, table and view indexes can help the query to find data quickly. In fact, the existence of write indexes can drastically improve the performance of the query. If there is no index to help the query, then the query engine, just like we do, you know, it has to scan every row in the table from the beginning till the end. This is called as table scan in database terminology. And table scans are bad for performance. So when does a query result in a table scan? Whenever there is no index to help that query. So obviously in that case, the database engine has to scan every row from the beginning till the end. To find the data, it satisfies the query. So obviously, if the table is large enough, then it's going to affect the performance of the query very badly. Just like how it takes a longer time for us to find you know, the chapter number or some keywords if there is no index based on that chapter or keywords. Let's look at an example. We've got this employee table, which has ID, name, salary, and gender columns. At the moment, this employee table does not have an index on the salary column. So if you look at the salaries, you know, we have 2,500, 6,500, and then 4,500 again. So these salaries are not arranged in ascending or descending order in this table. So they are mixed and matched. So obviously, if I have to find, you know, employees whose salary is between 5,000 and 7,000, I will have to scan each and every row. In a similar fashion, if there is no index on this table to help this query, Obviously, the database engine has to scan every row from the beginning till the end. It has to scan the entire table. And this is called as table scan. We just spoke about it. And table scans are very bad. So when does a query result in a table scan if it doesn't have a right index to help that query? OK, so let's see how to solve this problem with the help of a query, I mean, with the help of an index. So to create an index on a table, we use create index statement. So to create a table, we'll say create table table name. To create a stored procedure, we'll use create proc procedure name. In a similar fashion, to create an index, we use create index and the index name. So there is a you know, naming convention that we generally follow for naming indexes. So since we use SP for stored procedures, TBL for tables, indexes, usually we use capital I and X index underscore the name of the table on which you are creating the index. In this case, we are creating an index on table employee, so underscore TBL employee, underscore on the column within the table on which we are creating this index. In this case, we are creating an index on salary column, so underscore salary on the table on which we are creating the index, TBL employee, and on salary column within that table. Now, how you want the entries in the index to be arranged. Okay, so we are creating an index on the salary column. So in the index, the salary column is the key. So how do you want these key values to be arranged? Do you want them to be arranged in an ascending or descending order? You can control that using ASC for ascending and DESC for descending keywords. Okay, so we are creating here you know, an index on salary column in the ascending order. Now, if you look at this index, all the salaries are arranged in ascending order. Okay, but here in this table, they are not arranged in ascending order. That's why it's very difficult to find data that matches this query. Select star from TBL employee where salary is greater than 5,000 and less than 7,000. 
So once we have this index and if we execute that query, now we know that all salaries between five and 7,000 are somewhere at the bottom of the index because they are stored in an ascending order. And if you look at every entry in the index, you know, for example, 2,500 record, a, a record that has got 2,500 salary, it has got a row address here. Just like how we have page numbers in the book, the rows have row addresses. Now the actual index may look slightly different. This is for our understanding that I have entered row address here, but in fact it will be some hexadecimal number there. So 2500 and it will have its row address there. So it will directly go to the table and then pick up that record. Just like how if we have a page number, we go to that page number directly. Okay, so since the salaries between five and 7,000 are present at the bottom of the index, we take those row addresses, go to the table, fetch them. So instead of scanning each individual row in this table, I am now able to seek the index and then pick up the addresses from the index, go to the table and using those addresses, retrieve those records directly rather than scanning each row in the table. So obviously this is going to you know, improve the performance of this query. Okay, now let's see how to create this index practically. So create index ix underscore, we want to create that on TBL employee table. So TBL employee on salary column on TBL employee table on salary column and how do you want the entries to be arranged in ascending order that's it so create index index name on employee table for salary column so let's select that execute so command completed successfully. So we have created an index on this TBL employee table. So go to the table within the database. So expand tables folder and we have got TBL employee table. Now if you expand the TBL employee table, you should see indexes folder. And if you expand indexes folder, you should see an index that we have just created index underscore TBL employee underscore salary. And then if you look at that, we have got something called, it's a non-unique and non-clustered index. So what, we mean, what do we mean by non-unique and non-clustered indexes? We'll talk about the different types of indexes in our next session of this video series. Okay, so basically in this session, we'll understand the basics of index. So what is the advantage of indexes? Indexes help us to find data quickly and how to create an index, we can use the create index statement. Okay, and after we create the index, how to find the index that we have created, you can go to the object explorer, expand the database and then the tables folder and the table and then go into the indexes folder. That's one way. Another way is basically to use one of the built-in system stored procedures to find the indexes on that table. So I have the system stored procedure called sp underscore help index. Just like how we have sp underscore help text system stored procedure to find the text of a you know stored procedure we have a sp underscore help index system stored procedure to find all the indexes that are available or that are created for the table that we are going to specify in this case i want to find all the indexes that are created on tbl employee table specify that as a parameter for this system stored procedure execute that you should see the index so we have this index created. And in this, and in this index, what is the index key? Salary column. And obviously, if you want to drop the index, we can use the drop keyword. Drop, index, and then the index name. Okay, but then, since an index is on a table, you also have to specify the table name. So we have created an index on TBL employee table. So I can, I will have to specify TBL employee and then the name of the table. In this case, it is index TBL employee salary. So F5, command completed successfully. I come to the indexes folder, refresh that. It shouldn't be there anymore. Now we have seen how to create an index using a query. It's also possible that you can create an index graphically using the designer. Okay, and the way we do it is right click on the indexes folder and select new index. 
it gives you a designer where you can specify the index name and other options so let's say I want to create an index called IX on TBL employee on the salary column and look at this it's asking you whether you want to create a clustered or non clustered or spatial you know there are different types of indexes in SQL Server which we will be talking about in a later session for now let's create a non clustered index and do you want the index to be unique or non unique you know again we'll talk about unique and non unique indexes in a later session and then you can specify the columns okay I want to create an index on the salary column click OK so we are creating an index on the salary column click OK and it should create that index okay just like how we have used the query you know we have used the designer to create the index for us On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET and C-Sharp interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.